What do you do if you wake up one morning and find out that all of your only one-year-old Battleborn batteries are cracked? In this video, we're going to tell you exactly what happened, what Battleborn did, and what we did, and how the situation is getting resolved. So stay tuned. What happened? Well, I went out to the uh, RV, noticed one of the batteries was cracked, and I thought, oh, this is not good. So I called Battleborn. They sent out a new battery before I even pulled out the other one. So once I pulled the batteries out to send back the one, I realized that all five of our batteries were cracked. So I contacted Battleborn again. They asked for the serial numbers, and when they saw those, they immediately said that was a bad batch of plastic. Our, the people that manufacture the cases for us built the plastic incorrectly, not according to the formula that we gave them, and the battery, battery cases were not as strong as they should have been, and so they cracked. So this so was they, totally not Battleborn's fault. This was their supplier, but they, they immediately totally said, stepped up we will replace them they they shipped out new batteries to us and and we got labels to ship the old ones back to them there was no cost to us the only cost we had was just putting them in yeah that was just, the installation that which was our own labor yeah mostly his and <laughs> his labor Padded. Yes, they have excellent packing. Uh, part of the part of it has to do with the fact that they're lithium-ion batteries and can be flammable if they're in the wrong situation. And part of what comes with them, it has two lengths of screws. You can see here the two different sizes, and then it has uh, brass washers and lock nuts so that you can attach the cables to the batteries and not have them move or shift while you're driving. So I'm going to take the picture of all the serial numbers. That was one of the first things they asked when I said there was a problem with my batteries. So, and I had no idea what my serial numbers were. They're located on the back of the battery. So I'm just going to take a picture of all six serial numbers. That way I'll know exactly what they are and which kind I have. Because my space is very limited, I wanted to have the batteries get, be as close together as possible. So these little tabs that uh, are used to lift batteries up. They're called, uh, Battleborn calls them ears. And I talked to them and they said, you can cut those ears off. You just want to make sure you don't compromise the, the, uh, the rest of the plastic when you do it. Um, and it doesn't invalidate the warranty or anything. So that's what I'm doing here is cutting off those, those ears so that the batteries can nest closer together. I decided to try using my drill to tighten up the bolts on the batteries. And this really helped because um, I only had one wrench and so there's, and it stayed still. So it wasn't moving around. And so it didn't have as much chance of arcing with, with one of the other terminals on the battery and the drill because it's uh, just going straight down. It didn't have really any chance of arcing either. So it really helped reduce the amount of arcing potential when I was attaching the bolts. I have set up the first three batteries. You'll see that the, that the negatives are all, all the negatives are connected and I have this, this one here, which will connect up to this other bank of batteries. And then I've connected up the positives 
and you'll see that this one here is loose so that it's ready to connect up to the positive on this other bank. And this one is loose because that's going to connect up to the, to the negative in the motorhome. I'm going to connect up the other set of batteries and then hook the two together. But what I want to point out is that you'll see that this cable and this cable, they both connect on the terminal. And again, this cable and this cable both connect on the terminal. Now, on these particular cables, the way that they were built, they come up on one side. So I made sure that they went up away from the other terminals, you know, so the positive is mounted so that it's up and the negative is mounted so it's down. Why is that important? So that they don't touch. And what happens if they touch? Well, you can see that last time I did this, this particular cable was actually resting against the bolt of the negative terminal because it was pointed down rather than up. And you can see it got a little warm right there. And that's not good. That means I was losing power and that means that it could, it could have potentially started a fire, but I doubt that it would have, but it's not good. And so I wanna make sure that these wires do not touch the other bolts at all. There's an air gap between this wire and this bolt here, and this wire and this bolt here, this wire and this bolt this bolt and this one. Okay. So as you see, I've got the other bank of batteries all set. Again, the, the leads are on opposite sides so that they touch the terminal. That way you get a very good electrical connection that each wire touches the terminal. And this one here is set so that I can connect up the positive side to this side of the, of the battery bank. This one here, I'm going to connect this wire up to this positive here and this wire up to this negative here and that way the whole bank will be hooked together and then I can push them together and get them ready to slide into the bay. It's very important to remember as you're working with this you must not let your wrenches that are on the positive side touch the negative or when your wrenches are working on the negative side to have them touch the positive. If you are not careful, there's going to be, if you look at the end of this wrench, it will, it can weld actually items together. And this wrench here, you can see it took out a huge chunk of the wrench. And over on this side, it uh, also took out a big chunk and it no longer ratchets because the ratchet mechanism is now welded shut because it went across, it arced across the positive and negative terminals. Yeah, that was not fun. No, no. I, I've learned a lot. Just be very careful. Yeah, and if you don't feel comfortable doing it, get a professional to help you. So you can see here, he's got a piece of plastic um, situated so that the terminals don't touch anything. And it's a pretty low tech solution. They're actually plastic notebook um, that we, it's, it's actually a plastic notebook that we took apart. Um, it's a stiff enough plastic and it's all we need to just kind of keep those two terminals separated. Now maybe there's a more fancy way to do it, but it's it worked really well and once we put those in place, no biting has occurred. All right, so where are you at right now? Push them part way back in. Yeah. And the plan is, this is the terminal. This is the positive. These two are the negative. And I need to hook up the positive to this bolt here and the negative to this bolt here. So how are you going to get to them? Going to push I'm going to pull these apart okay. like this, okay. and then I'm going to hook them up. Okay. You'll remove the blue for a I'll minute. I'll remove the blue here, yeah. Yep. I'll remove that okay. and hook this on. Okay.
At first I thought maybe I'd be able to hook up the wires to the batteries while they were outside of the compartment, but the cables really aren't long enough. So I'm going to put the batteries inside the compartment and then hook up the cables. There's not a lot of space, so I'm just working to make sure that the batteries don't catch on anything, any of the wires inside the compartment. Um, it took us a couple of tries, but uh, we were able to get the batteries put inside without any difficulty. All right. So, where are we now? Okay, we have the batteries in. Um, and the next step is to hook these, hook these up, the positive and the negative, to the batteries. I'm going to have to loosen this, this strap that I had around them to put it in to do that so I can spread the batteries apart and then hook them up. And then I will tighten this strap back up and connect up the other straps, put the loops in here where they belong. Thanks, and man. those are for... Making sure they don't move. Yeah. Once the batteries were in the compartment, I loosened up the strap that went all around them to hold them together. Um, and then I was able to spread them apart and connect up the positive and negative wires to the battery terminals. I used that blue plastic to keep them separated so I didn't get any arcing. I also put a piece of blue plastic on the, on the top of the compartment area so that if uh, my wrench touched that it wouldn't arc either. All right, so what he's doing right now is securing straps around the batteries and hooking them to the floor of the RV so that they don't shift in transit. Okay. okay. And now we're going to turn on the house batteries. So. Okay. Yep, that light's on. And now we're going to turn on the inverter. Okay. And now we're going to plug it in. All the electricity. That means that all the electricity, 12 and 120, uh, are now turned on and it's plugged in. So our air conditioning and uh, microwave and all those things should operate okay. completely. And it's done. I still have to put the latch on, a few other little minor things, but the electrical part is all done. So that's really nice. Good job. Uh, the upshot of it was we, we got the ba batteries replaced without any problem for free. And they've, they have since remedied that with their plastic supplier. And uh, they're and it's just this. It was just the GC2 batteries too. Yeah, it was just only the our GC2s. particular so model. So the, if you have the other kind of battery, um, those are not affected. It's only the GC2s, which we have because, like I mentioned before, that's what fits the configuration of the bay that we put them in. Yeah. But they totally took... Um, Stepped up, to took, took care, of, care of us. Absolutely took care of us. And paid so. for all the shipping and exactly. replacement, and they were quick at doing it. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a very good experience. Yeah. We really, really appreciate the, the service that you get from Battleborn. And let so, me add, we we don't get any. Um, yeah, we are not affiliates. We're not affiliates. Mm -hmm. We don't get any commission. No, we're not being. We paid. just we are have very. Shirts. We you know, have they did give us shirts. Yeah, we gave us shirts. So if, if, and and they gave us a whole lot of swag that we can give away on our channel. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Yeah. So our our comments here are just based on our own experience and what the way we feel about this company. That's we would definitely use them again we definitely we will. like their products and we like their service I, in particular i think it's important to mention too that derek is not professional and clearly i'm not uh, he's not a professional electric he's but he has an engineering background and so he was able to install these if you are not comfortable working with electricity if you're not comfortable working with these things you absolutely must you know get someone to do it find you know 
a certified find, find a local local certified service dealers person. service person to put them in for you yeah. um or get if you've got a savvy friend um we were able to do it it isn't a super easy diy which is what we said from last time with the other video which i will link up here yeah okay. and we were a little bit worried that you know did we do something wrong because we installed them and you know had we done something to crack them and yeah, Battleborn? Did, was it the straps were putting right. too much stress, stress on them or on something? It. And Battleborn said, oh no, mm -mm. You, you did nothing wrong. This was totally, totally the fault, the fault of, of the plastic. The plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all in all, it's, I mean, it took us about, uh, from about 7.30 this morning until about noon. It's done. And that's, that's a really, um, that's a really happy thing. So, all right. Let's talk about the contest. So June is our birthday month and also when our anniversary is right so june we're kind of like and then we have two grandkids with birthdays in, in so, june so june is kind of birthday month Whoa, birthday month um so we in honor of birthday month and because battleborn gave us so many fun goodies to give away we have three prize packages that we're going to give away and this is how you can enter to win <laughs> to enter the contest there's four things you need to do one if you're not already subscribed please subscribe Number two, like this video. Number three, comment below. And number four, in your comment, guess how many years we have been married. And the top three closest answers will be our winners. So we will, you have until June 13th to uh, give us a comment and your guess. And we will announce on our Instagram page the winners. And I'll ha ask you to. PM me your address and uh, we will get those prize packages sent out to you. So thank you to Battleborn. Um, thank you for A, being an awesome company and B, having awesome customer service and C, sending us fun swag and B, helping, uh, no, and <laughs> B, C. C, D, D comes after C. D comes after C, yeah. And D, helping us to get out there and stay out there. So don't forget to subscribe. Like the video and then ring the bell so you get notified. You bet. And until next time, Restless Friends, you take care. Bye.